Hi, this is James Monis, James the Wine Guy, just to give a brief video and the encouragement of trying sparkling wines from around the world and sparkling wines that may not be something that you expect to find. What you might always expect to find, and rightfully so, is champagne. Champagne is something that uh, so many wine regions and uh, in the entire uh, wine world, uh, both still and sparkling, and uh, champagne is a region to be looked up to. It's just a great reputation, uh, phenomenal wines, many producers, many styles. Now, I have some examples here of wines that, and I don't have the full allotment and assortment here to show you every single type of sparkling wine beyond champagne. Now, champagne's lovely, and uh, for me, I could drink it um, almost every other day. It's, it's wonderful, if not every day, uh, such as Winston Churchill had uh, a bottle every day. I can't imagine. Um, but I think for me, it's uh, first of all, it's nice to have different styles, different uh, grapes that are uh, involved in the sparkling wine process and uh, just to experience what other wine producers are doing. Also, the price points are completely different as well. So champagne definitely commands a premium, and uh, that's because there's just so little acreage, or actually the acreage or hectareage has not increased. It is a fixed number. Now, these are examples here of what you could look for and seek out. Now here, uh, this is a Prosecco, and uh, it's by the producer Cupcake. So Prosecco is a, an Italian sparkling wine, and uh, one that just has a beautiful uh, scent and fragrance, not made of the usual uh, Chardonnay and um, uh, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier set. And then when you find, you step away from France, for example, you're going to find a lot of producers that are just going to be utilizing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So this is uh, a New Mexico producer. So a wine, another additional sparkling wine to seek out. Uh, widely distributed in the United States, extremely well priced. I think everything I see here is under 14 US dollars. Uh, well produced, good bottle of sparkling wine from New Mexico coming from about 150 to 175, if not 200 miles south of Albuquerque. And uh, it's actually vinted in Albuquerque. So Gure, uh has a French lineage to itself. The, the family does come from Champagne. And then uh, here you have this uh, Cremant de Limon and uh, it's uh, Gerard Bertrand. So these are great things to try. So. When you say Cremant, you're saying that this wine is a sparkling wine and uh, definitely has an Appalachian attachment to it. But this is an, a region that is having, I'd say, some renaissance to it. That is, great price points, good quality wines, often overlooked. Shouldn't overlook it because if you want the bubbly in your life, you can find it and you can do so on a weekly basis. I do. I think sparkling wine is just one of those things to say... Oh, I made it another week, and not only did I make it another week, it was a fabulous week. I deserve what I'm enjoying today, as opposed to sparkling wine just being a special occasion, once a year wine. What a shame that is, right? Uh, so definitely encourage um, to enjoy, give permission to yourself to enjoy sparkling wine. I think we have some uh, rudiments back, at least in the United States, and uh, Prohibition is partly to blame for that, is that uh, we, we tend to think... Uh, in terms of maybe, uh, oh, I should enjoy this too much. Well, sparkling wine is meant to be enjoyed often. It's, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful wine and uh, something that through hard work and effort, that's why we have this. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Fameo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.